Lee, quit playing around back there and come up here. <laughs> Too much stuff going on. Good morning. It's good to see everybody here on this beautiful spring morning. Well, it is. It's going to be a great day today. It's good to have Central College Choir with us today to bring us a message and share with us. And it's just good to have you here with us. Things going on this week. There's a new newsletter out on the table if you want to pick one up. I looked at the picture on the back. I haven't gone around and compared it to faces yet to see who it is. But um, take a look and see if you can figure out who that is this month. Everyone is invited to a time of food and fellowship after the service. These guys are probably going to stay simply because it's not college cooking, right? Amen. Yeah, big smiles down here. <laughs> So stop. It's our first potluck since COVID started. Come and, and share and have a good time. Tuesday evening, we're going to watch episode five of the season two of The Chosen. Come out at six o'clock for a light meal, and uh, we'll start at 645 with the video. Dan and Jill are going to be gone this week. So if you have anything going on, they're going to be gone leaving today. Tomorrow morning and uh, be gone for a, a little over a week. So if you have anything going on, you can still reach Dan on his cell or you can call me or Diana Larson. Um, Easter's coming up pretty quick. Uh, Shirley and I are going to host a sunrise service out at our house Easter morning, 645. That's before the sun comes up so we can put on our jackets and go outside and watch the sun come up as we start our sunrise service. You guys are all welcome to come if you can get up that early. That's, <laughs> no, the heads are shaking. It's, it's happy for a meal. Get up early. Nah. <laughs> I think that's all I have for announcements. Birthdays this week. Jim Clark has one on the 15th. On the 5th, excuse me. Um, Andrew and Carly are celebrating on the 5th. So, Andrew, how many? 19. 19. Good. Congratulations. Bryce Brewer has a birthday on the 8th, and Mark Runyer has a birthday on the 8th. Did you guys get bulletins? Good. Maybe you can all share. <laughs> will, you, will you join with me in the call to worship that's uh, in the bulletin, and let's read that together. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Know that the Lord is God. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. big thanks to our guest pianist today. Is it Dr. Jansen? Uh, Dr. Brett Jansen from Central College brought his choir out and he agreed to, to play for us today since Marie is gone this week. Well, we'll just see how you do. <laughs> Marie can play in Spanish, or not Spanish, but Swedish. So. Well, it's great you guys are here. I feel woefully underdressed. <laughs> you guys, don't we? We're not, it's not good. But I appreciate you uh, being here with us and uh, stick around for the, for the uh, food afterwards. It's excellent. We've got good cooks here. So, anyhow, uh, great you're here, and we are going to sing uh, How Great Thou Art. That's our first hymn. If you will stand with me and sing that one, How Great Thou Art. Just Bye. 
prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we just come before you because you are so great. You're so loving and so kind and, and just a provider for all of us, Lord. We just thank you for all of that. We thank you for everyone that's here today. Just be with the choir as they sing and share with us. Help us to receive their message this morning. Bless each and every one of us as we go about this day and the coming week and just help us to be your people. We just pray this in the name of him who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You may be seated. Well, don't sound bad. Sound good. And as I'm singing this and everybody's standing up, I see my cousin's here from Chicago. He's about a foot higher than everybody else, and you slipped in on me. But I heard you. I heard you singing. It's great you're here, Brian. Thank you. Yes. Well, we are going to continue singing hymn number 183, Beneath the Cross of Jesus. We're going to sing that one together. You may remain seated. Beneath the cross of Jesus, I fain would take my stand. The shadow of the mighty rock within a weary land, a home within the wilderness, a rest upon the way from the burning of. Upon that 
cross of Jesus mine I at times can see the very fine form of one who suffered there for me and from my smitten heart with tears to wonders I confess the wonder of a healing love and my unworthiness. I take across thy shadow for my abide. Well, good morning, everyone. It's good to see you all here today, all you Central College, Central Christian College people. I should say Central Christian College of Kansas people. Get the whole name right. <laughs> We're glad that you're here with us and looking forward to what you're going to bring a little bit later on. Um, we have a pretty much regular service for the first half, and then we're going to switch over and have ministry and music from the choir. It's now our, uh, our privilege to go before the Lord in prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much that we can gather here today, today in your presence. When we come together like this, we are brothers and sisters gathering together in your name, and you are here with us. There's something special that happens when we come together. I ask that you would bless our fellowship, bless our worship. May it be glorifying to you. And Lord, bless each of us. Strengthen us in our walk with you. We thank you for the faith that you have put in our hearts and our minds. We ask that you would help it to grow. Encourage anyone right now who may be in a place where they're having questions or troubles. Strengthen them, Lord. Be with anyone right now who is going through physical problems. We ask for your touch and comfort to them and your healing on them. We thank you for these things. Lord, we pray for our world. We see so many things going on that are so distressing. Dictators and tyrants in places of power who are lording it over those under them. And they seem to have nothing but their own selfish benefits in mind. Lord, people are suffering at the hands of these. We ask for deliverance for them. We ask for your justice to come in a way that will free the captives, that will see to the poor and the oppressed. And Lord, that you may be glorified, that your kingdom may expand as your word goes forth. We thank you for that. We pray for our own country, Lord, for our leadership, that you would bless and guide and direct no matter what is going on in their minds and hearts, Lord, you know, the words of their mouths come from you ultimately. So we ask your blessing in this way, too. And Lord, we have special guests today, Central Christian College Choir and uh, Brett and Jamie and others. We just ask your blessing on each of them. Thank you that they would make the time to come and minister to us. May your spirit just blow through them as they Bring forth words of praise and of worship and of encouragement. Work in them in their personal lives, Lord, wherever they're at as they're getting close to the end of the semester. Help them in this time to get things done that need to be done. Direct them, we pray. And Lord, we thank you for Central Christian College and what they are doing and the 
ministry that they are performing. And they are going in an uphill battle many, in many ways. We just ask that you would bless them, that you would meet all the financial needs of the college, and you would give wisdom to the leaders, to the president, to Lenny, and to others, the board. And may good come of this. May it be a great mission field, and may it be a great place of maturing for young Christians. Thank you also, Lord, for Pavey and her success in Finland. We were praying about this earlier, and Lord, you have worked, and she has been acquitted of all charges, or they've been dropped, and she is allowed to speak from your word in a public place. Thank you for that, Lord. Help us here to hold on to the freedoms that we have to speak your words and your truth. We pray for the folks that are listed in our bulletin. Think of Jennifer Birch and cancer. We pray for Steve and Sandy as they recover from the home fire that they had. And Les Mock, as he recovers from the treatment from his cancer, and the cancer may it be gone, and may he get his strength back. And Randy, who had the bad stroke and is not doing very well, strengthen him. And Chad and the healing in his arms, his arm. And Eldon and his heart situation. He's too young, Lord, to be having to, to stop living life as he's been living it. Bless him and help him. And Chris, help her. Karen and her pain. And Janet as she fights Hodgkin's lymphoma. And Vern and his treatments and, and uh, the pain that he's having in his back. We pray for relief there. And Danny, who's recently taken some steps backward in his cancer situation. And Michelle, not doing so well. Be with her and with the family. And Lord Sally, uh, who has been coming recently, we pray your blessing on her and her recovery this day from this what she's been through this last week. Strengthen her, we pray. We lift before you now our unspoken requests. Thank you again for your Holy Spirit moving among us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus is the song we're going to sing next. That is 435 in your hymnals or it's on the wall, however you want to do it. Remain seated. Jesus. 
it's now time for us to worship the Lord in giving. And if it's your first time here, when you came in, there's a box in the back, and it'll be there when church is over, too. And we just take a moment now to uh, honor God with our gifts and worship him. The text I would like to read from today in regard to this is Luke chapter 6, verses 36 through 38. And it's a it's a long section that Jesus is talking about how we should live as people. And um, it's not just giving. It's, it's the whole picture. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. Do not judge and you will not be judged. Do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. Bill, would you come forward, please? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for all of the blessings you have given to us, spiritual and physical emotional, relational, and financial. And Lord, as an act of worship, we return a portion of it to you for the building up of your kingdom. Please bless the gift as well as the giver. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And please stand. except for children and teens. It's cat time. Children and teens. Come on up front here and have a seat. Um, hopefully our technology is going to stand by us here. Uh, is it? Oh, okay, good. It's working. And I'm going to sit down so that you all who, who uh, yeah, come on up. You want to see this. It's going to be good, I think. So that you all in the back can see it too. Um, this is, is a pie plate. I don't know if you can make that out in the video, but you guys can see it, right? All right. I'm putting some warm milk in there. If only we had a kitten right now. <laughs> <It'd be okay. laughs> There's plenty of them running around outside, aren't there? Okay. He'd be real happy. But, um, yeah, I'm going to scoot down just a little bit so they can come and join us too. Can you all see this okay? And you all can see it okay too. Maybe it's the milk. Give it something solid to focus on. There we go. Now, stay there. <laughs> My cup, like that. That's not just any cup. That's from Osaka. Osaka, Japan. You focusing yet? Well, okay, I'll put my hand there and then maybe the cup will help hold it. Or I could just leave my hand here. <laughs> I need two hands. <laughs> you go for Here, let me put this here. I had to make that comment about technology. Yeah, we're the <laughs> Maybe if I move it a little bit. Well, I can do it. There, there we go. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Thank you, Lord, for that. All right. It, the milk needed to calm down anyway. But this is like the world, okay? This milk represents the world, and it's a pretty big place. Imagine it, you know. Well, it's 8,000 8, miles to the opposite side of the world from here. And I'm going to put some food color in it. And this is like us. And we're all, you know, different people. 
different characteristics, different appearances, different personalities. But if you're in Christ, if you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, then you are family. We're united together like that. And that's kind of like us here Sunday morning. We're just having a good time being together, sitting in our pews, enjoying what's going on and, and all of that. But God said to the early, Jesus said to the early disciples, I want you to go out and tell everybody about me. Start right here in your hometown and then just go from there until the uttermost part of the earth. And that's, you know, far, far away from here. And they obeyed and they did that. And that command is still for us today too. And when we tell people about Jesus or when we do kind things for them in the name of Jesus, our friends at school, or even people that aren't friends, or when we obey our parents and do stuff like that, we're all kind of glorifying God in the process. And look what happens. Put a little dish soap in there. and God blesses it. And we just take off and we just keep going. For 2,000 years now, the church has been going all over the world. And it's constantly on the move. If we had time, we could sit here and watch this for five minutes or more, and it would just keep swirling around. It's better than a lava lamp. <laughs> and that's pretty good, okay? <laughs> so, but anyway, remember that when, when uh, you know, you're out with people, be sure and share Jesus with them however you can, whether it's, you know, telling them directly or just showing them by the way you live. Let's pray, shall we? Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are working in us and you've given us a mission here in this world, in this life, in this place, in this town, in school, wherever we are, to be your witnesses, to live in the strength of your spirit. I pray for these young folks that you would bless them in this way and all the rest of us too. May you be glorified in this. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, you can go back to your seats now. Thanks. All right, so now that we've got the preliminaries over with, <laughs> we can begin the real deal. They're coming up. That's good. Um, Dr. Brett Jansen and the Central Christian College Choir. Welcome them, please.
Thank you. Let me get situated here just briefly. That's praise to the Lord. And I'm reading out of Psalm 145, uh, verses 1 through 3. Um, David says, I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Well, um, sometimes when we go through life, um, we enjoy, uh, we can see the Lord blessing us, and we can give praise to him. And sometimes we feel like the Lord has deserted us. And even though David wrote that psalm that I just read, um, he also, David mentions this um, throughout the psalms as well, the, the feeling of being deserted. And we see that in Psalm 13 and Psalm 31, where he calls upon the Lord. Why has is, why is he um, turned his back on me? Um, so the Lord brings us trials and tribulations in life, and it feels as if we are in the middle of a storm. <clears throat> if this is you at this moment, um, let this next song minister to you and be encouraging to you. This is the storm is passing over. The next song that we are going to sing for you guys is in Latin, and the translation is, May eternal light shine upon them, Lord. With your saints forever, you are kind. Grant them eternal, <laughs> eternal rest, Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon them.
Romans 9, 20 and 21 says, But who are you, O man, to answer back to God? Will what is molded say to its molder, Why have you made me like this? Has the potter no right over the clay? To make out of the same lump one vessel for honorable use and another for dishonorable use?
can I keep from singing? I hear the truth. reading Psalm 150, and it says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with trombone and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with the loud clasping cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord.
Thank you, and thank you for letting us come out and worship with you um, this morning through uh, music. So we greatly appreciate uh, being able to come out and share our music with you and give praise to the Lord um, through that. Um, let's see. Uh, right now, I want to take just a second and to have each of our wonderful choir members uh, tell you their names and uh, where they're from. We'll start with Tanaya. I'm Tanaya. I'm from Wichita. It's boring. <laughs> I'm the grandma, and I'm from McPherson. My name is Susan Tiffany. My name is Emily Ingebretson, and I'm from Missouri. My name is Kerrigan Dix, and I'm from Colorado. Uh, my name is Jaron, and I'm from Hutchison, Kansas. <laughs> my name is Joel Daniel Curry. I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. My name is Mike Avendano, and I'm from Laudan, Oklahoma. A lot of you know me. Uh, I'm James. I've been telling people that I'm from McPherson. <laughs> My name is Caitlin Maldonado, and I am from San Antonio, Texas. My name is Laura Songji Lee, and I'm from South Korea. My name is Alta, and I'm from Arkansas. Okay, the, um, that last piece that, that we sang for you is cantar or sing, sing hallelujah. Um, and this, uh, our last piece that we have for you is uh, called Sia Hamba. It's a South um, African uh, folk song, uh, praise to the Lord. So you'll hear it in um, a different language and then you will hear it in English. So, so don't worry, you'll hear the English translation. First John chapter 1 7 says but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus his son cleanses us from all sin Thank you. 
very much for coming. Thanks for having us. <laughs> it's the music and it's the people. It's not just that they're singing. I mean, we can listen to, you know, really nice music on YouTube. But that you guys are here and what that represents. Thank you very much. Say, after this, we're going to have a fellowship in the fellowship hall, eating a potluck lunch together. And so I'm going to say a blessing on that and a blessing on all of you. And then they have one more little piece. A benediction. The benediction. It's the grand finale. So let's pray, shall we? <laughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day and for the blessings of it. Thank you for these young people. Continue to watch over them and guide them step by step throughout their lives. And <laughs> the other people, too, who are not so young, pray your continued blessing on them as well. <laughs> and Lord, as we share fellowship together, break bread together, may it be a great time, a joyous time, and a time that you are present with us, enjoying our fellowship together. These things we ask in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And if you know um, the Lord bless you and keep you, um, this uh, our last song, I invite you to sing along with us.